Edge has recently posted that he intends to win the World Heavyweight Championship and retire once he drops the strap. This has caused many fans to speculate that Edge is going to be the one to bring home the gold, not to mention all the fans who already thought that before he posted this video. But the reality is, while I don't like Edge, and I know many of you do, he really isn't the best man for the job. Let's keep in mind that the kayfabe reason behind this belt being brought back is because WWE apparently deserves a full-time champion, someone that's going to be defending the belt a lot more often than Roman Reigns, considering that the Tribal Chief is hardly ever around. But when we stop to think about it, Edge isn't around all that much either, as he's another part-time wrestler. And so, if the whole point of this belt is making sure that we have someone on the roster regularly to defend their championship, how is Edge a better option than Roman? Now sure, Edge's schedule could pick up following winning the title, therefore giving it that full-time flavor. However, that leads us to our next problem. One benefit that Edge's part-time status affords him is that it gives him a lot of time to heal up, especially since he hasn't been the healthiest ever since he got back. Not only did he have his major injury that happened at Backlash back in 2020 that kept him out of action for the better part of a year, but even though he had it surgically repaired, remember he still broke his freaking neck. And so, even if Edge did want to return to a full-time status, there's no guarantee that his body will cooperate, especially when you remember that, well, let's just move on to our next reason. Seeing the fact that Edge is about to turn 50 later on in this year, it's not surprising that his body is reacting the way it is to professional wrestling because, well, he ain't no spring chicken, and a title opportunity like this is much better suited to go to a younger talent. Bearing in mind that if he does win this title, he will be the oldest world heavyweight champion in all of WWE's history, and if we count the WWE title for just world championships in general, then he'll be the second oldest right behind Vince McMahon. So just put that in perspective there. No doubt Edge has accomplished a lot throughout his very long career, as he's an 11-time world champion as it is, not to mention a former US and former Intercontinental Champion too. And he's also won multiple tag team championships, even winning them once with Hulk Hogan. And he was also the first Money in the Bank briefcase winner, as well as getting to cash it in a second time successfully when he won it off of Mr. Kennedy. And he's also won King of the Ring, and he's also won the Royal Rumble, and he's also won the Royal Rumble starting at number one. My point is, how many accolades does one guy need? For someone as accomplished as he is, you would think he's one of the biggest superstars of all time, but he isn't. Now that I mentioned Hulk Hogan, let's remember that here's a man who hasn't accomplished half of what Edge has in kayfabe, but he's brought in way more fans and way more money into the industry than Edge could ever dream of doing. Edge himself was a Hulkamaniac. Now again, if you like Edge, that's perfectly fine, you're entitled to your own opinion. But my point is, can't we say that Edge has won more than enough since he's won just about everything there is to win in WWE? Do we really have to give him this too? Speaking of which, not only is he nowhere near the draw that Hogan was, not to say that many people are, but there's also the reality that Edge isn't a draw, period. Now sure, there are some of you out there who feel that Edge was a big main event draw once upon a time, however, there are going to be others who can easily argue that he wasn't, but it doesn't matter, because right now, I think it's safe to say that he isn't pulling in the numbers. Let's look at Edge's initial Raw return, a segment that was highly promoted but yet pulled in less than stellar numbers. And let's also remember that when he was booked to go one-on-one -on -one against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, ticket sales were so lackluster that they had to add Daniel Bryan to the match just to spice things up. And while you could say that maybe fans were just a bit skittish about returning to arenas back then, then I have to ask, why did they improve once Daniel Bryan was added to the mix? And might I also remind you that Daniel Bryan's comeback segment on SmackDown, which was the B show at the time, did better in the ratings than Edge's did on Raw. Now sure, you can make a lot of excuses for him, but the point of the matter is, one way or the other, Edge doesn't draw in new fans. And he's not really doing a great job of drawing old ones back in either. And when we look at other members of the roster who are doing much better on merchandise sales like Sami Zayn and Cody Rhodes, is there any empirical proof that Edge is drawing in money? Because I don't think that there is. Although, speaking about other talents...
Okay, look, no matter how much you might like Edge, I do have to ask, right now, is he the best person to win this championship? Has he been putting on the best matches? Is he the best wrestler himself? Is he the best performer? Is he the best in any specific category? And does he win out in so many categories that there is no one else better suited to win this championship? I can understand people liking him, and I can understand people liking his work since he's come back, but I don't think it's fair to say that he's a better wrestler than AJ Styles, who's also on the verge of retiring too, might I add, or that he's been the bankable go-to like Seth Rollins, who WWE has consistently turned to whenever they needed a banger feud. And if you're looking for a Hall of Famer to win this championship, well then might I just point out that Rey Mysterio had a much more interesting feud with Judgment Day and Dominic than Edge did. So while you might think that Edge does deserve to win this championship, can you really say that there's no one else in WWE right now that deserves it more? Let's remember, just because you post about something online doesn't mean that you have it coming to you. I mean, just as Zack Ryder. And between Sami Zayn and Cody Rhodes going against Roman Reigns, I think you should learn by now that WWE doesn't always give you what you want. Edge no doubt has done a great job using social media as a tool to raise his stock, but one post doesn't mean that you should get the World Heavyweight Championship. So will the Rated R Superstar advance tonight? Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and that you give this video a big like. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters and thank you for watching, and as always, Dave knows.